here, like. Um, so the day has finally come. What should we call today? One Parent Family Day? Here. Children's Day. Here, or perhaps here. a more apt description would be Job Seekers Day. So as we are all aware, today is the day that thousands of lone parents throughout Ireland, most of whom are women, will find that their payment to support themselves and their families will be cut. And it will be cut because their youngest child is seven and because they are working part-time but less than 19 hours a week. So these people are people who have a job but their low paid, low quality job is not in any way whatsoever lifting them out of poverty. The government says that the cuts and the changes are going through so lone parents can get a job and no longer be poor. But we have evidence to the contrary. It just doesn't work that way. So in fact, Les Gerlich, I'm getting reports from some lone parents today that their new cut payment is not in their bank account yet. Can you imagine how they must feel? Even the bureaucracy appears to be getting it wrong, the distress that this is causing. So my first question to the leader is, can you confirm that all lone parents will get their payment today and why it isn't there now? You know, many of this in this house and in the other house, as recent as last night, have protested vehemently against, against the cuts, but our voices have fallen on deaf ears. More importantly, lone parents have also protested vehemently against the cuts, and what I find hardest to take is the government's deafness to their voices. This government has told us that, the, that the last four years that it's about reform, reform of this and reform of that. What reform of politics would make one of the most significant differences to how we do our business? To listen, to dialogue with, with our citizens, and especially those who are impacted directly by what we do in these houses. Yesterday, I published findings from a civic forum that I held in Leinster House, attended by over 30 lone parents, where we debated what changes they want to see that they, so that they and their children can have an equal chance to flourish in Ireland. And with its publication, I am calling on government to immediately establish a special working group with the predominance of lone parents and their representatives to review the cuts and, and the conditions to one parent family policies, to feed their recommendations into budget preparations, beginning with the national economic dialogue that will be held later this month. So that brings me to my other question, Leader. Who is being invited to Minister Holland's national economic dialogue? Minister Holland has said, quote, every government has a duty to engage with its citizens and that he, quote, is committed to ensuring that the process is as open and inclusive as possible. Leader, will the government invite some lone parents to the dialogue? And Leader, are any members of the Shannon being invited? I'd love to attend. Yeah, yeah.